Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that every year, 704 million pounds of red beets are harvested in the US? That's a massive number, isn't it? In today's video, we're diving into the incredible journey of red beets. From lush, well-tended fields to state-of-the-art factories, we'll explore every step of the process. You'll be amazed at how advanced technology helps American farmers grow, harvest, and process red beets with unmatched efficiency and care. So stick around and join us as we uncover the fascinating story behind this humble yet amazing vegetable. Let's dive in now. Red beets are an important crop in American agriculture making a significant contribution to both the food and industrial sectors. These nutrient-rich beets are widely grown in states like California, Arizona, and Colorado, where the climate and soil are ideal for producing high-quality yields. Every red beet story begins in the field. In large fields, proper soil preparation is key to getting the ground ready for planting red beet. First, specialized tilling machines collect and crush crop residues left over from the previous season cleaning the soil surface and creating favorable conditions for the next steps. Next, deep plowing machines with sharp plow blades turn the soil, breaking up compacted layers while improving soil looseness and water retention, providing a fertile foundation for red beet growth. Finally, land leveling machines operate with high precision, ensuring the field surface becomes smooth, which facilitates efficient seeding and irrigation. As soon as the land has been prepared. To grow red beets, farmers use automated seeders that ensure the seeds are evenly distributed across the fields and planted at the ideal depth in the soil. These modern machines are equipped with precision systems for fertilizing and watering, giving young plants the best possible conditions to thrive from the very start. After planting, red beet also need to be cared for very carefully. Red beet needs to be watered regularly to ensure growth. The pivot irrigation system for red beets is designed with modern rotating arms, ensuring consistent and precise water distribution across the entire cultivation area. In addition to watering, spraying pesticides for red beets with modern machines is done quickly and accurately thanks to automatic spraying systems and optimized nozzles. Some more modern farms also use airplanes for spraying pesticides. Red beets typically take about 60 to 70 days to grow from seed to harvest. When the beets reach their ideal size, vibrant deep red color, and meet quality standards on the inside, the harvesting process begins. Farmers usually choose dry days for harvesting to ensure machinery operates efficiently and to minimize any negative impact on the soil. On the vast fields of the US, harvesting red beets has been fully automated with the support of modern machinery that works seamlessly to optimize each step of the process. First, a specialized machine trims the green tops of the beets as it moves gently along the rows. Its sharp cutting blades ensure a quick and precise operation leaving the beet roots undisturbed beneath the soil. The trimmed leaves are immediately shredded and spread back onto the field, creating a natural layer of fertilizer that enriches the soil and helps maintain its fertility. Following this is a specialized harvesting machine designed to lift and collect the beets. Equipped with automatic gripping mechanisms, it carefully removes the beets from the ground minimizing any damage to their surface. The soil clinging to the beets is then gently removed through an integrated shaking or air blowing system. The cleaned beets are transferred onto an automatic conveyor belt, which moves them directly into large storage bins on trucks moving alongside the field. Both machines work in perfect harmony, like a well-orchestrated assembly line, ensuring a fast and efficient harvest while maintaining the quality of every beet. In addition, many farms use advanced multifunctional harvesters that combine multiple tasks into one seamless process. These machines handle three critical steps simultaneously, lifting the beets, processing the leaves, and performing preliminary cleaning. Once the beets are lifted from the soil, the integrated cutting system trims the leaves instantly. 
the leaves are then shredded and returned to the field to enrich the soil with organic matter. The beets are cleaned on the spot and transferred directly into the machine's storage bins. A standout feature of this harvester is its ability to automatically monitor the bin's weight, optimizing the transport process. When the bin reaches its maximum capacity, the system automatically shifts the beets onto a conveyor that transfers them to a nearby truck, ensuring the workflow remains smooth and uninterrupted without the need for manual intervention. Modern machinery is more than just a tool, it's a game changer in the way red beets are harvested, delivering exceptional efficiency for farmers. These advanced machines save time and labor while ensuring every beet meets the highest standards of size, color, and quality. The seamless integration of steps from leaf trimming and beet lifting to preliminary cleaning allows the harvesting process to be both fast and precise, minimizing waste and loss. Beyond boosting productivity, modern machinery plays a crucial role in promoting sustainable agriculture. Let's see how modern machines work with vivid sounds right now. After harvesting, the trucks, loaded with freshly harvested red beets, transport them to collection centers, where the beets are gathered and prepared for processing at nearby factories. Consolidation helps the factory process red beets more efficiently, avoiding overload or interruption in the production line. Consolidation also helps preserve beets in suitable conditions, limiting damage and ensuring freshness. From the pile of red beets gathered, the red beets continue their journey at the processing plant. At processing facilities, red beets go through a professional and meticulous procedure to ensure the highest quality before reaching consumers. The red beets are first transported along conveyor belts where dirt and dust are gently shaken off to ensure they're clean and ready for the next stage. Afterward, workers manually sort the beets to ensure only high quality ones proceed to the processing stage. They are thoroughly washed using high-pressure water jets to remove dirt and impurities. Beets are moved to an automated packaging line where they are carefully packed into mesh bags, allowing airflow to maintain their freshness and vibrant color. In another factory, red beets are peeled and packaged directly for consumers to use. Peeled and vacuum-packed red beets offer numerous outstanding benefits. The pre-processed product saves consumers time and makes it convenient for immediate use. The vacuum sealing process not only preserves the freshness and natural vibrant color of the beets, but also retains essential nutrients like vitamin C and folate. Additionally, the extended shelf life without the need for preservatives along with guaranteed food safety standards, makes this product a convenient and reliable choice for both households and food processing facilities. Peeled and vacuum-packed red beets offer numerous outstanding benefits. The pre-processed product saves consumers time and makes it convenient for immediate use. The vacuum sealing process not only preserves the freshness and natural vibrant color of the beets, but also retains essential nutrients like vitamin C and folate. Additionally, the extended shelf life without the need for preservatives, along with guaranteed food safety standards, makes this product a convenient and reliable choice for both households and food processing facilities.
Additionally, red beets are often processed into salted varieties. The process involves carefully slicing or preparing the beets before salting them with a controlled amount of high-quality brine. This modernized system ensures uniform salting, maintains the vibrant color of the beets, and meets strict hygiene standards, resulting in a premium product ready for distribution. The production line for salted beetroot is equipped with state-of-the-art machinery designed for precision and efficiency. Next, let's dive in the story of another beet, sugar beet. While the journey of red beet from harvest to packaging showcases its culinary versatility, the story of sugar beet takes us into a world of sweetness, where these humble roots are transformed into one of the most essential ingredients in our daily lives. This is sugar. Typically, it takes about seven to eight months for sugar beets to mature and be ready for harvest. When the time comes, American farmers employ modern machinery to harvest the crops. These machines allow for quick and efficient harvesting while ensuring the quality of the produce. As the harvest season begins, the vast sugar beet fields are bustling with specialized machinery tasked with the job. These harvesters are specifically designed for precise and optimal extraction of sugar beets. The harvesting process begins as the machine enters the field where the sugar beets have matured. Sugar beet harvesters typically feature a sharp, controlled cutting system that digs deep into the soil to separate the beet roots from the ground. This digging component can cut and lift the beets without breaking them or harming the soil. Once lifted, the beets are transferred to a conveyor belt that moves them to the cleaning units. Moreover, the harvesting of sugar beets is made more modern and efficient through the use of two specialized machines. First, a large harvester moves across the field, using powerful cutting blades to remove all the foliage from the sugar beets. This machine separates the leaves from the roots, preparing them for the main harvesting phase. Following this, another machine equipped with special mechanisms passes over to lift the beets from the ground. The beets are placed on a conveyor belt where they undergo preliminary cleaning, removing soil and any remaining impurities. This process ensures the beets retain their best quality. Finally, the cleaned beets are transferred to a truck parked near the field, ready to be transported to the processing facility. Once all the beets have been consolidated, the remaining tasks are performed at the processing plant. This is where a closed-loop process transforms the raw, muddy beets into pure sugar granules, ready to meet consumer and production demands. The process is carried out with the support of advanced technologies and modern machinery, ensuring optimal efficiency and the highest quality. First, the cleaning stage begins. The sugar beets in the consolidation area are moved on a conveyor belt to an automatic washing system. Here, strong water jets directly spray the beets, combined with rotating drums and conveyors, helping to remove dirt, rocks, and other impurities from the surface. Next is the slicing stage, an important step in the processing. Modern slicing machines with sharp blades cut the beets into thin strips, called cassettes. These strips have a greater surface area, facilitating the sugar extraction process. The cassettes are then placed in large extraction tanks, where water heated to about 70 degrees cells circulates to dissolve the natural sucrose in the beets. The result is a raw juice with a high sugar content that is collected and moved to the refining stage. This solution is transferred to an evaporation tower, where excess water is removed, increasing the sugar concentration. Evaporation towers often use vacuum technology to reduce the boiling temperature and protect the quality of the sugar. Once the solution reaches a certain concentration, it is moved to a crystallizer. Here, small seed crystals are added to help the sugar crystallize and grow into the desired crystal size. After crystallization, the sugar crystals are still coated with a layer of molasses, giving them a golden hue. They are placed in a centrifuge, where they are spun at high speeds to separate the molasses from the sugar crystals. The molasses is often used as a raw material for other products, while the sugar crystals proceed to the drying stage. Drying equipment uses hot air to dry the sugar, ensuring each crystal meets standards for moisture content and purity. 
Once the sugar is dry, it is moved to an automatic packaging system. Depending on its intended use, the sugar may be packaged in small bags for household use or large sacks for the food industry. For liquid sugar, such as syrup, specialized bottling lines handle the bottling process, ensuring each bottle is securely sealed and safe. So that's it for the journey of two beats. Thanks for taking the time to join me on this journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.